You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have Gail Kubek from, did I say it right? Yes. Okay, from the VFW Auxiliary, which is a wonderful support group over at Post 1046 that helps out veterans. Yes. I, I, I don't know anybody better to help out, okay? There's lots of good causes, but people that sacrificed, fought for our country, served, they may not have actually fought per se. Well, VFW, Veterans of Foreign Wars, they went to all the different uh, theaters across Correct. Europe and different parts of the world. Um, VFW is a nice nice place over there. I, uh, I actually had my wedding reception over there, and I've gone to more than one political event and a few veterans affairs. You guys always do a nice spread every uh, Veterans Day and Memorial Day. You feed us. We, 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 we see the ceremonies that take place over there, and you're the backup and support. Mm -hmm. Right, and you've seen our renovations, right? Yes, they sure mm -hmm. have. It looks it's, nice. It's it's, it's it, mm -hmm. Brockton does not have a lot of facilities anymore, and that's a great place right. to go. It's so, a nice big hall. Um, it looks it nice. holds a lot of people, mm -hmm. and uh, I I can't even count the number of events that I've been there. But this is mm -hmm. a very interesting event. I like it, and I know you've done it before. It is a penny raffle, penny sale, and raffle. Correct. Correct. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're looking at uh, Sunday the 18th. Yes. One to four. Yes. The day after St. Patrick's Day. Correct. I, <laughs> ar around a birthday, right? Correct. Okay, <laughs> um, so if you haven't had enough partying and green beer and all of that stuff, mm -hmm. one o'clock in the afternoon, you should be coherent in yeah. order to go over Everybody there. should be okay by then. <laughs> so what do you do with the, with the proceeds? What do you do uh, with this event? We. The money we collect goes to all the different programs that we support to help veterans. Locally, we support Just Checking In, Mary Waldron, yep. for the wreaths. We support Wreaths Across America. We support the veteran, uh, the state president, veteran service, service dogs for veterans. So okay. Yep, which I got a nice pin. Uh -huh. Thank you very I much. You I pin. appreciate yeah. that. Um, we do a lot of welcome baskets for the VA hospitals. Veterans and their families in need can come and see if we can help them in any way. There's a lot of different programs that we support. Now, the auxiliary is a group of volunteers, yes. correct? Yes, yes. Um, it used to be, I think, if I'm right, tell me if I'm wrong, it used to be women only at one Correct. Point, and now it's men too. Men can join the auxiliary now, and if they're eligible. Okay. You have to be eligible to join. Okay, so what is eligibility? What, what do you have to do? A member, um, you have to be a, if you're a veteran, you would join the VFW itself. To right. be in the auxiliary, you would be a family member of a veteran. Father, mother. Husband, wife, husband, wife sister, sister, brother. Sister, brother I'm looking at a lot. Son, son and daughter. daughter. So, so I would qualify because I never served. My dad served. He was a World War II veteran. He was one of those guys that jumped out of planes, mm -hmm. paratrooper. Mm -hmm. uh, dad liberated one of the camps with his uncle in it. Mm -hmm. um, Dad had a few good stations too. He was stationed at the Vatican, and he was wow. he, and he went to the Greek Isles. He loves to talk about that. Mm -hmm. um, he also, I'm trying to think where else he was. He, dad, dad, uh, dad served honorably, but also got himself into a little bit of trouble. I mean, uh -oh. he, he drove a step a jeep up the steps of the Acropolis. That was that was uh -oh. a good one, and he uh -oh. almost mm -hmm. got in trouble for that. <laughs> Tried to hijack a plane to go get his uh, grandfather in mm -hmm. Israel. But other than that, he wow. served with distinction, and he, he never wanted any credit for it. The World War II veterans, John, Tom Brokaw called them the greatest generation, and they were very humble. Yes. Um, yes. Wonderful event that happens at your place. I know Dennis Hersey has done a jukebox 1944, and he's had mm -hmm. his dad, who mm -hmm. I understand might be ill lately, and mm -hmm. some of the other veterans. We have veterans around here. We used to do a show, and I'm, hopefully we'll bring it back one day, called Veterans History Project. Bob McCormick hosted that. George Cataldo with the Italian-American War Vets. George is a fixture George is at great. all the, <laughs> all the different things. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the, the commander over there, Jimmy Doherty. Okay. Correct. Good good guys. Um, yep. They're, you know, I, I, I keep hearing different stories at every veterans events that I go to. Sooner or later, the stories come out and they do talk about them. They, mm -hmm. they're, they're humble. And then you get veterans of all ages. It's not just World War II, Korea, Vietnam, 
Iraq. A lot of the younger ones Desert are coming Storm, in now. You got yes. a, you know, yes. and uh, hopefully they're all joining up to be members. And uh, hopefully we have to keep the VFW going. You sure do. So that we can support these veterans coming back with all their needs. Yep, and they do. Mm -hmm. I mean, you hear about uh, PTSD. Um, mm -hmm. I, you know, my father did not access his VA benefits till he was 89 years old. I, he always mm -hmm. thought someone else deserved them more for him. I said, Dad, my dad. that's not how it works. Mm -hmm. You're a veteran. You deserve it. Right. My dad was a World War II veteran. He was a Purple Heart recipient. He was shot and back fighting again before my mom even knew that he had been shot. Mm -hmm. He came home and they had nine more kids, ten kids in all. Wow. He worked for the city and was killed on the job working for the city of Brockton. Oh, I so, did not know that part. Yeah. I'm but, sorry. Um, this is why I do what I do, because of what these veterans did for us. When we're up there freezing, putting the wreaths on the graves up there, and it's, think about what they do for us. And, and we, you can go to almost any cemetery in Brockton and see veterans. I mean, my dad mm -hmm. is buried out of town. I, mm -hmm. I would have preferred to have him at the military. You know, down the same, down, the same. Down I feel there. about my dad too. Um, but, and yeah. I know people that go down there. Mm -hmm. I've given them rides down there. Some of the some of the older folks that can't drive anymore. But mm -hmm. um, when when dad was at the VA, very brief period of time, and when he was treated there by a doctor, he was treated with dignity and respect. And you know, this particular VA is a special VA. It's not a VA where you have all the issues that you've mm -hmm. read about and heard about. Mm -hmm. I'm still hoping that uh, when people say we're going to help veterans at election time that they carry that through after election time. Correct. Because yeah. they gave mm -hmm. sometimes their life, but they gave mm -hmm. their all injuries or, or medical conditions that they have as a result of it. Um, our Masonic Lodge does chapel there and, and escorts mm -hmm. veterans down on, on, on Sundays, mm -hmm. um, the different lodges, the Masonic Lodges in the area. But what you do to support veterans, I mean, it, it, it's, it's very much appreciated. And this will this will help. So what what types of things? It says refreshments and cocktails available because VFW has a little bar over there. Right. But what are you what, what are you selling at the penny sale? What what can people the look penny for sale there? has um, quite a few penny tables, and they're fifty cents a sheet. And you go around putting the tickets in for what you want to win. They can be anything on those penny tables from a bottle of hand soap to a dish towel to a box of chocolates or something. Mm -hmm. Then we have a bigger table that has um, a lot of good raffles, anything from a microwave to a toaster oven to, we have duck tour tickets this mm -hmm. year. We have um, the zip line place in Canton, um, Treetop Adventures, they donated. We have a lot of good raffles for that table, gift cards for local restaurants. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we try to do good to get as many as we can and collect as much as we can. We have a, a lot of different raffles this year. Um, one of the women is bringing in a quilt to raffle. We have a lottery ticket basket. We're also going to have um, a membership drive at the same time. If okay. anybody's eligible, right? To we'll have applications there and try it's to get more people. It's not expensive to join as a member, right? No, you can join as a yearly member. It's twenty-five dollars initially, and then the yearly fee is twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. But if you join as a life member, it goes by age. Okay. And it's not that expensive to join. And when do you guys meet? You have a monthly meeting? The second Wednesday of the month we have our meeting. Second Wednesday, okay. Over at, at 6 p.m. At, at the VFW. VFW. Okay. Um, do you have a website or a phone number or anything if people want more information? Um, the VFW Post telephone number. I didn't put it we'll on. Put it on. We'll put <laughs> okay. it on for you. How's that? We'll look up right. the number and we'll put it up. And we do have a Facebook page now. I'm working on setting up a web website as well. There you go. So well, trying to get more things going. Gail, we're glad you do what you do. And now mm -hmm. I know a little bit more why. Mm -hmm. um, and we're, we're happy to help you promote it. Um, so Sunday, March 18th, 2018, 1 to 4, Brockton VFW Post 1046 Auxiliary at 283 North Quincy Street. Has a penny sale and a raffle. Be there and you'll find something good to bring home. Thanks for being Hopefully. on. Hopefully. Thank you. You're welcome. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.